we're going to discuss here today is a little bit about hooking and slicing the ball. Now, inevitably when players hook and slice the ball, what happens is the club base is in the wrong position at impact. So, what we really want to try and look at is when a player hooks the ball, inevitably the club base arrives back at impact in a closed position to the two alignment poles that we've got on the ground. So, in this closed position here. So, that's going to cause the ball to gather way too much right to left spin. So, what we want to do when players get into that situation is really encourage the player when they swing through the ball to feel like the club face is working much squarer for longer duration to the ball. It's almost feeling like you're holding it off through the shot, keeping the club face pointing at the target for longer and really feeling like there's no extra rotation in those forearms. So keep the club face pointing at the target for longer and what we're going to find is less release and rotation in the forearms is going to help you stop that hook. To stop the slice we want to do the opposite. The club face when we hit the ball for the slice is very much open in relation to the ball. So what we want to do is for the slice really feel like the hands are rotating much more through the shot, releasing over and going to help you straighten that ball flight up. Thanks again for listening today.